Hey, yo. Just when you thought it was safe to go back on the YouTube. It's Nerdcore Dave. What up, yo? Hey, guys. Uh, I want to apologize. I screwed up. On, uh, thankfully, a, uh, sub I guess he's a subscriber. Uh, comic Book Hustler um, clarified something for me, and I did some research. And uh, I was I was wrong about the origins of BCW. BCW apparently was known as Baseball Card World, and they um, their um, business basically was supplies for baseball cards. Obviously, baseball cards aren't a sustaining business at this point. Baseball cards are pretty much worthless, I think, um, aside from you know certain ones. Um, but the they expanded their line to include other collectibles including co obviously comic books are a huge thing and um they grew and so anyways snuff and i did a review on the plastic tote uh boxes that he got in and i've done ones on the um comic top loaders that they supply and um you know obviously they grew to be one of the primary if not biggest supplier of supplies for comic books um now what I thought it was, was Bill Cole Enterprises expanded, and I'm not sure why, why I thought that, but um, Bill Cole BCE seems to almost be MIA. I don't know what they do at this point. Um, I know when I was just kind of, I didn't spend hours researching or anything, but when I saw their last hurrah or whatever, it seemed like they were supplying CGC with the cases for their, uh, the, 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 you know, obviously for the CGC grading. Um, but other than that, I have no idea what the hell they do anymore. So anyways, um, I was wrong. I admit I was wrong. Thank you again, comic book hustler for clarifying that. Uh, you get a no prize and, uh, all right guys, let's hit the music. to do things a little different today and we're out on the porch here in western Pennsylvania and it's beautiful uh, Wednesday June 26 2019 the year of our Lord 2019 um, but it's a beautiful day and I really want to just get outside and give you guys some different scenery so we're sitting on the deck while my neighbor mows his lawn and hopefully that's not too annoying he just started as soon as I decided to start filming so it is what it is guys but check it out. Um, so this morning, Davey uh, Geek Fingers and I decided to take a ride out to the city to go to the, one of the bigger comic shops out there. And um, so I knew I was, what I was gonna have on my, I had a good idea what I was gonna have on my pull list uh, at the local comic shop. But um, I grabbed a few things and I just wanted to check it out and maybe dig in that dollar bin a little bit. So first thing I saw was Batman Damn Number Three. You guys knew it was coming. And. Um, it's the finale. Uh, all the hype's gonna die down now. We'll see how that Batman Damn Number One sustains itself. I'm sure it'll retain some speculation value, but uh, I don't see it being. It's probably gonna drop down to 30 bucks, maybe. I would think. I don't see it uh, lasting too much longer. Um, it is what it is, guys. Uh, so, anyways, grab that up, and then I had to grab one of these. Spawn 297. This is the second print. Um, I'm not familiar with Spawns having a second print, to tell you the truth, guys. So uh, that's why I was interested. Now, Davey said that uh, they started doing it with this run, um, these later issues. So I don't know. He, uh, he thinks that the last issue had a second print. I'm completely unfamiliar with that, but maybe they did. I don't know. Um, grab Conan the Barbarian number seven. You guys know I'm a big fan of this story. Um, recommend if you guys I mean even I'm not a huge fan of barbarian stories but I like the Conan story for sure here's one that I was surprised I, I wanted to get but I did uh, mostly it caught my eye because it was shiny but uh, it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 40 and apparently spoiler alert um, this is the first Tommy as the White Ranger um, I just thought it was a badass cover and I remember seeing it in a preview video or something and um, it was the last one on a shelf and I was like, you know what, that's a good spec book here because I know that the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have a huge, I mean, uh, 
they got a huge base so somebody will want it somewhere down the line I doubled it up put it in a nice bag and board and uh, doubled up the boards and we'll see now after I was done looking at what was new on the shelf I went and picked up where I was in the dollar bins and um, one of the first things I found was ultimate FF number I believe it's five four first appearance of the Miles Morhamus the spectacular spider or the ultimate spider pig um, then I came across this guy right away too Eternals number 14 first appearance of the cosmic powered Hulk robot count me in I want to see the Hulk robot Woo. It's a hot one. Casper's big book number two from Harvey classics looks like a Halloween issue guys you know that's gonna go in the, the holiday collection uh, I've been I've been kind of chipping away at this uh, Daredevil end of days I've wanted to pick these up for a while because I'm a huge fan of David Mack but not only that dude look at the creators on this we got Brian Bendis David Mack Claus Jansen Bill Sienkiewicz and Matt Hollingsworth man I mean if that's that's Team Supreme right there bud so can't pass that up then I've been you guys know I've been looking at these um, Buffy's and Angels and all these oddball uh, IDW um, books lately because of the cover artists there's a lot of um, uh, J. Scott Campbell's and Jenny Frieson's and I found as soon as I looked at this I was like that's a Jenny Frieson man and the reason I I noticed it is not only the artwork itself but if you look like uh, that the banding and the Art Nouveau style like that's definitely a Jenny Frieson tell sign man so I grabbed that up uh, I'm not a huge fan of well I was a fan of the Buffy TV show not the other ones but um, I don't know if they would hold up but I'm not passing up these covers because they're bad as hell. Grabbed a Animal Man 25, uh, one I was missing. You know, I'm chipping away at that collection as well. Found a static number one, still in the poly bag. Poly bag, eh, it looks a little worn, but you know what? It's still in the poly bag and it's the first appearance of static. And uh, that's a good spec book right there. Uh, for diversity, uh, African-American superhero, had a cool, uh, comic or had a cool uh, animated series back in the day from the same people that brought you the Batman the animated series I never watched it but uh, from what I understood it was pretty good also found a uh, Superman I think it's 360 oh nope, my bad 327 Whitman variant you know I have trouble passing up these Whitman variants uh, if I haven't explained it before the uh, it might be a while since I explained it at least uh, the Whitmans were poly bagged and usually reprinted and poly bagged and put in toy stores and sold as a packet so it's like a second printing that's by a different company and um, they were usually sold on the cheap um, back then we always laughed and thought they were kind of worthless but now it seems like there's a, a degree of collectability to them and I have trouble passing them up um, also check this out guys I've been looking for one of these this is a second printing of Robin number one I got really excited Guys, when you're looking through the uh, dollar bins, check this out, man. See this right here? This is uh, this how. You, well, obviously, back then in this this time period, the Roman numeral right there too. Roman numerals will tell you what printing it is. But also, uh, crash and burn, Robin. This right here, you can tell by this. The adventure begins uh, right there. Normally, the uh, first print says free poster inside. But um, listen, guys, if you see one and it has the uh, newsstand scoop it up and last in the dollar bin just because this was a cover purchase Dark Avengers number 11 an homage to the uh, Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number one um, bad as hell these some of these Norman Osborn covers during this time period are bad as hell dude so I uh, scooped it up then after Dave and I parted ways I rolled over to my LCS and picked up my pull list which included Thor number 14 tie into War of the Realms got some shit going on with Venom there a bad as hell Justice League Dark number 12 with the Clayton Crane Swamp Thing cover and man check out the Swampy man he looks like a catfish or something I don't know what the hell's going on with him but uh I know I like it whatever it is and you know what I'm glad I like because I was thinking about uh getting rid of this series because honestly I haven't been reading this either and um the covers the variant covers were sucking and the A covers ain't eh, just nothing nothing for me uh, they didn't have anything for me so 
Um, thankfully, this really caught my eye, and I'm digging it. Clayton Crane, man, he doesn't do too much wrong in my eyes, and I, I usually uh, prefer his Spider-Man stuff. But I, you know, I, like I said before, I think he should be doing every variant on Spider-Man series. <laughs> but uh, his Swampies are bad as hell too. Now here's a here's a unique one. I don't, I'm not familiar with this artist at all, Dan Quintanas. So uh, Detective Comics 1006 this is a Dan Quintanas cover, and uh, I'm digging that. And uh, dark, dark some white shading in there and um, it's definitely a unique cover man count me in amazing spider-man 24 apparently the hunt is over and we don't have to buy an issue a week now it's a good thing um, I kind of dug the symbiote spider-man um, cover but uh, honestly none of them really struck me uh, whichever one they gave me was fine and that being said spider-man annual one came out this week guys and it's a spider pig uh, story. And uh, this is the animated cover. I, know, I think there's four covers. There's a, uh, it's a ratio variant. Um, it looks more like the classic, uh, like Marvel Tales, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Ham, uh, the original series from the 80s. And then there's a um, action figure variant, this animated variant, and then a regular cover. Um, now I know I pre-ordered one of each because I'm a huge Spider Spider Pig fan. I pre-ordered one of each from um, DCBS, but uh, I grabbed one from this comic shop because I want to read it, and uh, I don't mind having too much Spider Pig. Uh, it's like bacon, you can't have too much. And then lastly, Batman Dam number three again. It was on my pull list, but I got the regular cover. So that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and let's hit the music. Hi. <laughs> Did you say? I just love his reaction. I'm here with our friend Creatine, and we're gonna do a not ten not ten cent haul. No. This was just a regular run of the mill weekend haul, but we ran in reverse. It was a reverse. It was um, yes. an alternate alternate reality. Uh, reverse, I don't know. I don't know how you want to Parallel. Yeah, but it was... <laughs> but we did it in reverse this weekend. Yes. Instead of going to the city first and working our way back, we worked our way out to the city. It was kind of cool. It was, yeah, it was, it was In fact, cool. even the one shop owner looked at us and said, said you guys are here early. <laughs> he did. Or you're going to, you're going to bother me early or yes, something like that. Yes, he did. So, I don't know. Where do you want to get started? Well, we're well, not ready for that one yet. No, but um. Were you? Did you get anything at the? I did not get anything at the first, first place. Shop, I did. So let's see. <laughs> well, I didn't. Don't remember ordering one of these from DCBS. So I grabbed a last night on Earth, Batman, um, book one. It's a uh, it's a DC Black Label, but I think this is the. Pretty sure this is the jock cover. I'm not sure. I like that cover. It is. It's badass. Mm -hmm. I like the cover a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the green, green uh, Joker on it, um, but like I said, I don't think I ordered one from DCBS for some reason, and I'm gonna assume that they don't have the Batawang in this this one. I don't think and, they do. Um, the Superman Superman Black Label one came out this week too, and I don't think they're gonna show Superman's vagina in this one either. <laughs> His kryptonite. His kryptonite. All right, so I grabbed that. And luckily, he had these behind the counter. He was hiding them. He was. And uh, I asked him if he had any, and he threw one at me. It's that Symbiote Spider-Man number three with the uh, Carnage blood, whatever, uh, the variant. That's cool. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I didn't pre-order one of these, but I really wanted to get one because I heard some of the storyline, and it ties into the shit I like. Mm, okay. So I grabbed the B cover. You helped me decide which one yes. to get. No, I wish I would have got the A cover, too, though. The A cover's pretty cool. 
I think if I see it, any, you know what, it, it was pretty hard. Well, after I, when I, wherever I saw that one, like between the two, mm. like I did like that one, but um, then we saw the other one. If you don't know what happens in this book, you should probably get it. Mm. Can you believe this is so weird? So this came out last week, right? Yeah. Second printing came out this week. Like they're doing second printings that fast already. Wow. Crazy. That is, yeah, crazy. So that was all I got from the first shop. Okay. Then we went to the second shop. Yes, that's right. Did you get something? What'd I you did. Get? I got I got two books there. Um, I got I picked up the deceased number two, that cool Freddy cover. Yeah, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, yeah. The movie poster homage yes. Yes. by Yasmin Putri. <laughs> yes, I finally got it. Um, and I picked up uh, Marvel's thirteen, the Deadpool. Deadpool With, thirteen um, Marvel's twenty fifth anniversary yes. variant. Yes. By, Audie Granov. Which is really, that's a really nice, Yeah, it looks that, like a magazine cover. All that that you just, <laughs> all that that he just said. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Yeah. Those are, those are good those are, books. Those are nice books, yeah. Okay, and then we went to, where did we go next? Where did we go next? Oh, I went, I, I went to that, well, when we were at that shop, I got a couple books too, because <laughs> remember, I thought this one was the one that our sh local comic shop owner said looked like Weird Al's favorite accordion. And, oh, um, yes. so I, since I saw those, I was like, you know what? I don't mm. want to miss out on it. So if I end up with two, that's fine. Yeah. Which I did. I, and I, so I got one of those too. That's okay though. And, uh, he actually was holding me one of these cause I didn't know if my local comic shop was going to get any, but it's the Venom 13, 15, mm -hmm. 15. And it's the variant logo with the carnage mm -hmm. blood or whatever it is. And while we were there, I was looking at, he only had one option for silver surfer black. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's a cool cover. And here, it turns out he belongs to something called Comics Pro or something like that, and they make yes. exclusive covers. Yes. So I guess it's like just certain retailers uh, pawn their resources together and get a variant that's only exclusive to them. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, I thought it was pretty cool, actually, and that is pretty cool. So I got that Comics Pro variant as well. So that's really cool. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys are aware of that or not, but if you have one of those guys in your area, you might want to yeah. keep an eye on them because I, I said this is their first exclusive cover that they've had something for everybody to check into yeah. yeah they could they could get that cool cover obviously they're not getting like they're not they're not being cheap and getting shitty covers are getting right it's a badass cover so all right so then what then we um, cruised over to one of those video game use yes. video game places yes we did and we knew they had a dollar bin well it's not really well, a dollar bin it's like a back issue bin it's yeah. usually overpriced but yeah um we haven't been there since forever so we figured we'd just take yeah. a peep at it, it it's been a little while um Figured, you know, maybe they got something new in. Take a look. Why not? We were there, mm -hmm. right? Plus, the market changed so much since yeah. the last time we were there that we don't know if, you know, by, back end we probably passed stuff over mm -hmm. the, the yeah, hot now yeah. or whatever. Exactly. So, um, what'd I you get? I only got three books there. Um, I picked up um, Spawn Fifty Seven, which I think you found this one for me, and okay. I didn't. I did not have it, okay. so cool. that was a cool find. Did you, did you look on your CLZ app and see that you didn't have it? Well, no. What do you um, mean? That's what I would have done to see that, if I had it well, first. Well, yeah, that's what you would have done, but um, I'm working on it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, I'm always working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> um, but I picked up Dark Rain, um, Invincible Iron Man number 13, Ooh. which is... I do not remember what this one is. That's from the it's, first um, storyline with Rescue, right? Yeah, it's that's Rescue with on the rescue. cover. And I think this one is also Rescue too. Have oh yeah, um, I think that's the first appearance. Number twelve. All right. So, and th that's all I got there. I got those. I thought, did you get a number eleven too? No. Hmm. No, those are the only two Wait, I got there. Maybe. Didn't you have one of these? Didn't I hand you one of these? No. Wasn't there one of them? Oh no, it was thirteen. Yeah, I, that's what yeah, I got. It was that they had one. doubles of a couple mm -hmm. of them there, so I grabbed one each two so and uh that was a win i think these are the nicest copies i found it's which is ironic. yeah they're actually pretty nice so that was a win yeah i only bought two books there four dollars okay. okay so what else you got um so then we went to boom bob last... burgers beat you to it oh i also got a bob <laughs> only only mine isn't in a um bag and board yet irresponsible because I'm so, you hate comics and I you, so, you want to so, kill them all i'm so irresponsible <laughs> <coughs> you want to kill all the comics yeah i just yeah <laughs> um i don't know i don't remember i guess i did pick this i don't know it's a free one 
I don't even know what that is, a bat. It's a kitty. A bat kitty? It's an owl kitty, I think. I don't know. An owl kitty, okay. Legend of Korra. Mm. And um, this one you found for me in there, but I don't think because me, I'm thinking because she saw this on here, maybe she didn't charge me, I'm not sure. But when oh, she was okay. counting, I mean, I don't I don't know what she did. Um, Whatever. But um, I picked this up, the, the X-Men. It was pre-comic. a free comic book day um, right. X-Men one. And I don't know if you want to do some because I only have... Okay, as soon as I started digging, so. the first box I started digging in, I found this, Dr. Fate number one. And this is, I forget, the first appearance of this iteration of Dr. Fate. It's the one they're going to be using in the TV show. So that's cool. Uh, it was on the mm-hmm. hot list a few, like two months I ago did, or something. Yeah, I do remember seeing that. Um, then I found a Venom number 19. It's the uh, Agent Venom series. Um, I don't have it, so that was a good find. I'm always happy to find You know, I'm always looking for Venoms and Swampy, so um, mm-hmm. that was a good find. And I found another copy of the Psyblade Sheet, first appearance of Witchblade. Yay! So that's like a thing now is like yes. to see how many copies I can find of Psyblade Sheet. Now that I like, you know, now that I know that what I'm looking for and, and um, when I see certain books and, you know, some of them when I look at them and I, I think I, I pull it out and I'm, I'm thinking that it's something, but it's only because I've seen it so many times. <laughs> but like, like some of the books, whenever, whenever we learn about them and, and, you know, you tell me about them, like. I've seen them three million, right. three million times in there and never realized it. And only it's only when I finally finally know, like this one, you know, like you see it all the time now. Mm-hmm. So, but that yeah, that's a good find. Okay, what do you got? Um, I have you actually. Oh, you found this one for me, and I got it only because you you can see him like right there. So what? See him who? Spider pig. The spider pig. Yeah, Peter we love Porker. Spider pig, but it's it's what. Huh? <laughs> wow. Huh? It's number one. It's a one shot, but yeah, I I picked that up. Spider because pig cover. Spider pigs in the corner. I had to have that <laughs> one. Um, I also got Doom Patrol number fourteen. That's from the eighties. Um, That's the eighties series. Yeah. And I did look it up. I have it on here. It's the first appearance. Woo. First appearance of Dorothy Spinner. It says a girl with simian like. Features. Wow, that's hot. So that's, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I was excited to find, I didn't even know these existed, but of course they do. Yeah. Superior Spider Man number one. It's second print, you can tell because it has the blue bar on the bottom instead of a red bar. Mm-hmm. And then I found, man, I found a lot of cool stuff. Aside from the stuff I, I stashed for the big sale this weekend. Yeah. But um, check this out, guys. This is really cool. This is a Mike Mignola cover uh, of the Elseworld annuals. This is when they were doing the Elseworlds that year. Um, it's Superman Man of Steel annual number three. Mike Mignola cover, but it's got the DC Universe logo on it. So how badass is that? Yeah. Didn't even know they existed. Wow. So, you know, those are the ones that your people look for. That's a reprint and are supposed to be the lowest print run of all the DC comics out there. And then I was digging, I've been looking for these, and I didn't even realize it went up this high. I knew there's multiple prings. If you look at like the Batman series around 400 ish, uh-huh. there's multiple uh, printings. And then, like, so like the high 300s have some Whitman variants, okay. but then the 400, around 400 to like 420. There's a bunch of just crazy printings in this and Whitman's as well. And this is actually a Whitman printing. Uh, this is six printing of Batman 415. I do like that one has such bright colors. Yeah, on it. it actually looks really yeah. nice. It's a nice copy of this, man. Yeah. Um, there's a little fold in one corner right here, but I don't care, man. I've just been trying to get all the accumulate all the printings, man. Yeah, because... that one's actually really nice. Yeah. So I guess I could do maybe yeah, two more. Yeah, I, I only have like four more. So now you guys are gonna shit. And actually, uh, Davy Nerdfingers, this is for you because we were discussing this. I think on Thursday night while I was I had you on. I was at work and had my headphones on, and you said that you found your subscription uh, books from back in the eighties or nineties or whatever. Well, guess what I found in a dollar bin this weekend? Uh-huh. A couple Fantastic Fours, number twenty five. And it has the subscription bag, and it, you can see whoever that guy's address is. Yeah. I'm sure he doesn't live there anymore. Hell, he might not even be alive anymore for all I know. Yeah. But um, has the cool Spidey, um, you know, mailer card and all that stuff. So I found two of those. I found 25 and 24. And I don't have anything, any of these in my collection, so this is a cool addition. Yeah, those were, I, I thought, whenever you showed this to me, I thought that was pretty cool. So That's exciting. Yes, it is. Okay, what you got? Okay, um, I have 
Um, actually, this is my second copy. Okay. I think it's second copy. Um, 52, week 9, which is the first appearance of Kate Kane as Batwoman. Right. And then I also found a side blade she, but mine's, I don't know if yours is the variant or mine. I think yours might be the, it's, I don't know. I don't whichever, know which one's the variant. Um, first appearance of Witchblade. So cool. I found, I, I think I have like two of those now. Because the other ones that I had found, it was reversed and it was the wrong one. I was the, yeah, you get, it's, remember, yeah. We, that's all you remember. It goes in alphabetical order. Yes. So if it's she side blade, yeah. that's wrong. It's C then S, side yeah. blade, she. I, I actually have a couple of those. Because, I do too. Yeah, I think but, I have like oh, four well. of them. Yeah. I thought I was winning. I was winning it's all okay. over the place. It's okay. <laughs> I know. I, I think I only have like too. two or three of those though. All right. So then I found a Call the Conqueror number 23. And I know you're wondering why. Why would you buy Call the Conqueror? <gasps> because it's a Whitman. And remember guys, we can tell it's a Whitman for two ways and this this diamond up here isn't always 100 percent, but the empty box or uh when it says something that's not a uh like a upc back okay, in those days so it has to be the empty box or or it has something that's that's not the, in the standard direct version okay because sometimes the the diamond means direct version back okay. in like the early 80s that's, that's you know that that's good to know because yeah. that way you know you know what you're looking for like if somebody doesn't know what to look for and then guess who found another Doctor Strange 44 first appearance of Sidorak? This guy right here. Okay, this guy right here found it. That's who. And um, so if you guess correctly, you win a no prize. <laughs> so um, then I was digging, and as soon as I looked at this, I didn't even know what this was, but for some reason I suspected it might be a first appearance, and I was right. Um, this is Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number. I'm not sure, I forget. But it's the first appearance of Lady Shiva. So Lady Shiva in the DC Comics Ooh. is Cassandra Cain, Batgirl's slash orphan's uh, mother. Oh. Okay. And she's also the one, she's like one of the most badass martial artists in DC. She trained um, Tim Drake to be Robin, and, and she's just a badass fighter, and like Batman respects her, even though she's like a villain, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see, let's not get into those yet. Eh. Go ahead, you fire one up. Fire okay. one. Um, I'll just do one. Um, just do one. Just do one. Okay. Uh, the New Avengers, number eleven, which and I still have like the those these. There's a couple price tags on it, but it was only a dollar. It was in the dollar bin. But um, and I I was not like <laughs> I didn't I didn't do any of my homework or anything as far as appearances, but I had to look it up. It's the first full appearance of Maya Lopez as Ronan, who later becomes Echo. Right. So. But she's the first Ronin, so yeah. it's the first Ronin. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I found that for not, a dollar. Not to be confused with the Clint Barton Ronin. Right. He was the second Ronin. Yeah. Okay. Well, I found a couple different versions of X-Men Deadly Genesis number one, which are all badass covers, but it's the first appearance of Vulcan, who's I, Scott I Summers and Havoc's I like third one. brother. So, like, for years and years and years and years in X-Men, there was always a rumor of a third brother. Mm-hmm. And then finally, in the mid two thousands or late two thousands, they did a storyline and said there was a third brother. So, oh, okay. and then um, there was also a variant of that, and it's like a Nightcrawler variant. And it's really badass, Joe Casada. So I found two, two, two versions of that. Mm -hmm. And then, go ahead, do your last one, and I'll okay. do my last one. Um, okay, my last one. It is uh, Disney's Chippendale Rescue Rangers number eighteen. It's they're fighting the bog thing. Bog thing. It ain't yeah. nothing but a bog thing, baby. Right. <laughs> hey, boy. Why is he doing that? Why is he being... So Stop it. I what a little pecker. All right. And uh, then just to wrap this thing up, I found a copy of Young Avengers. This is all in the same box almost in a row. Young Avengers number one, oh. volume two. So that's actually just a different version of the Young Avengers team. It was like the second iteration. Mm -hmm. But then... I found Young Avengers number five, which is the first appearance of the third Vision, Vision 3.0. Um, number 12, which is, I did write that down, huh? Oh, uh, first time Kate Bishop's called Hawkeye, and for some reason that's worth a lot of money just because of that. Wow. I think people just really like Kate Bishop. Yeah. And same with this one. This one's worth a decent amount of money, too, because that's cool, huh? Young Avengers number 10. Oh, look, wait, no. Oh, they're both direct. Um, this is the first appearance of the, I think it's Scarlet Witch's son who becomes Speed, Tommy Shepard, 
but it's also a Kate Bishop cover. I think the reason it's worth something is because it's a Kate mm -hmm. Bishop cover. I found two of those right in a row. Yeah, those, these I, are all beautiful copies, yeah, by the way. Yeah, those are nice. I like them. Yeah. That's it for these yeah. ones. So this weekend, we got that. It's going to be three for a buck. Yeah. Did you notice they changed the prices on it? No. So if you look at their ad, it says 30 cents a piece. Yeah. But if you look at their social media posting, they're saying 33 cents a piece. Oh, I did not see that. I saw it. Trust me. I saw it. I got my eyes on everybody like a hawk. Like a hawk. Not a hulk. Like a hawk. <laughs> but um, I ain't going to cry about it. It's still three for a buck. Yeah. Um, it's still not bad. Not bad. So we're going to crush that. And, um, like I said, we stashed, made a little stashy stashes. Mm -hmm. So be able to grab those up and then, uh, hit two of their stores. So we should come back with quite the haul for next weekend's video. Right? We'll Exciting some, times. Let's find some good stuff. So it's important on days like these, we're going to try to get there as early as possible. Uh, take plenty of water and caffeine. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> take some candy in case your sugar drops. Yes. And yes. if you got to take a nap, sleep right on top of the comic boxes and uh, put in a shift and probably be there until it closes, right? Is that the plan? I think that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, I cool. Think, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we can nerdcore out this shit. Till next week. Okay. Uh, on the count of three. One, two, th three. Nerdcore out. Nerdcore out. out. <laughs>